Hello and uh, welcome back. In the previous section you learned how to transform and modify basic primitives to change their appearance. In this section we are going to have a look at how to modify both the virtual environment and the controls, and in this lecture we are going to start with the ground. Here in the asset management system I've already preloaded a texture and a normal map that I downloaded from textures.com where you can sign up for free and download up to 15 textures per day that you can freely use in your projects. If you have any doubts about this topic, you can go back to lecture 8, where you learned how to use image textures and modify the material component. And I'm also taking this occasion to tell you that I take for granted that you have already completed all the lectures in the previous section. So if you skip those lectures and there is something that is not 100% clear in what I'm doing, please have a look at them and you'll find all the information that you may need to be on the same page with me at this point. Ok, let's get started. So, to create the ground in our scene, I'm going to add an A-plane primitive, to which I attach the material component and fill its color property with a light grey color. So if I move back in our scene, you can see our primitive at its default position. And then, since this is the visible side of our plane, we need to rotate the primitive by 90 degrees in a counterclockwise direction around the x-axis. And as you learned in lecture 6, we can do that by setting a negative value. So, rotation component, minus 90, 0 and 0. And now I scale the A primitive up, so we have a 10 by 10 meter surface. Well, it's finally time to modify the appearance of the ground in our scene by using the preloaded assets and turn it into a customized floor. So I reference to the image texture I change the material color to white I repeat the texture 5 times on both the X and Y axis and I reload the page. Then I reference to the normal map. And as you can see, we need to repeat it five times as well, as I did with the image texture. So, normal, texture, repeat, then I reload the page again, and it's time to have a look at our ground. Well, I'm happy with how the material scatters the reflected light, therefore I'm not going to modify the value of the roughness property. And so, this is how you can create and add the ground to your scene and modify its appearance to turn it into a customized floor. It's now time to deal with the sky in the virtual environment, and for this I'll see you in the next lecture.